Hello everyone, welcome back to RGB Links channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about how M1 works with LED display for events and the stream to the cloud simultaneously. Here are what we need. M1, view in the IPDD, a LED screen, and the phone installed with Tau app. Next, we'll connect the view PDD to the NDI inputs. As you can see, we can control the PDD cameras to M1, zoom in and zoom out, or just for codes. Connect M1 to LED screen via HDMI output. The on-site scene is immediately synchronized to the LED screen in real time. Not only can you scale the screen with M1, it also allows two layers of picture display on the LED screen. We can also switch between layers. First of all, set the screen to preview to operate per scale and input the height and the width of the LED screen by means of the knob or buttons to achieve the effect of full screen display. Let's demonstrate a RAW resolution first. You can see through the LED screen that there is a black border. Now, let's adjust to the correct resolution to achieve full screen display. The black border disappeared. Through the A and the B button of the layer, you can select the picture you need and save it to the scene through the save button. The save another scene to scene 2. After pressing the load button, select the scene you saved to use. M1 also supports 14 kinds of switching effects and supports T-bar and take button switching. This solution is perfect for small to media scale events like thin videos, small concerns, pops. For M1 can work as a video processor and streaming switcher at the same time. That's all for today's video. Don't forget to hit a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech content.